So we had a project uh, that I had done earlier where you can show and hide panels uh, similar to the way we do on the red cap um, homepage here, this info banner. Um, you can show it and hide it. When we, when Terry upgraded red cap, um, the banner was still working on the homepage like that, but in a project, it wasn't working anymore. And so we figured out it was because this data toggle attribute is, is part of Bootstrap, and that's what it's using. And they renamed the, the attribute to data BS toggle and data BS target. Um, so let me show you uh, in here. And surprisingly, it's actually working in this project, which is weird. It wasn't working in the other project because these are embedded fields. And if you click on show hide section, um, it'll show or hide the section. And in, in the other project that we had, this wasn't working anymore. And uh, so if we go into the designer, I can show you the code. So it's in one, uh, one embedded field here, or one descriptive field, descriptive text field, sorry. Um, and if we go to this text, you can see here that the data toggle is the old data toggle. Um, so let me just copy this into a text so I can do copy and repa uh, replace. So we want to replace anything that has the data toggle and data target. So this data target is going to become data BS target. And then anything that is the data toggle is going to be data BS toggle. We'll just update that in here. And it should still work. If not, we can always change it back. Um, but that's with Bootstrap 5. If And that's what is native to RedCap now. So this isn't something that's on your machine. Uh, it will be part of the RedCap projects. Um, And I'm not sure why it's doing that now. So maybe I'll have to look into that because it should just open, show, and hide without saving any data. Or let me actually, you know what, maybe it's because I don't have it saved. Because the other record was already saved. So there we go. That's why. Uh, and, and to give you some context for this, Originally, the reason this was created was because if you have data in a field and you use branching logic to hide it, REDCap wants to clear out those values and it won't let you hide it with those values unless you um, delete those values. So if I open up that again, that data is gone. But if I'm in the, uh, if I'm using this data toggle, I can add values and save it. And then if you have a, an instrument that has a lot of surveys and a lot of forms, you can just have them broken up into sections and then you can save that data and have it hidden without red cap trying to delete it. And you don't have to do any complex branching logic. And there's a video um, on our website, on our YouTube channel uh, that, that goes through this. It's just a data toggle. So does anybody have any questions about that one? All right. Um, so there's a couple one, more one thing. I'm sorry, just to, just to reiterate what you said, for those of you who are, are listening, then 
um, and for the recording. This is not something that is on your computer when the update happened. It's something intrinsic to REDCap. It's built into REDCap. It got upgraded when up REDCap was upgraded. So it's not something you would have to do, but it affects, it could potentially affect the code that you have used and that we've demonstrated previously for how to show and hide. So, so that's all. Yeah. And it's, if you want to look up the uh, bootstrap documentation, it's called collapse. It's in the components um, in bootstrap and that'll explain how to use the data target. And we have the XML projects for these uh, on our website. So if you don't want to go through and build this, um, you can just download the project, this project, demo project, and upload it into REDCap. And then you have a working version that you can use to then customize for your own needs.